cool. We're gonna wait for Anthony to join us. I already got him in. Yo, what's good, bro? What's what going up, on, How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you? Yo, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah. You know, in the, in the in the crib, just vibing out. Nice. You're in Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay. okay. Nice. Dope, yeah. man. Where you at? What's up? Where you at? I'm in Brooklyn right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. I'm still I'm still around the way. Let's go. Yeah, My man. Yeah, for sure, man. Y'all been ex uh, excited to get you on the whole day, man. A lot of people have been talking about it. I know uh, your brother's been been talking about it. I've been kick kicking it with your bro the past yeah, couple Yeah, yeah. He days. right here, man. He right here. You? Yo. What's going on, Mario? What's going on, brother? Chilling, man. Good to see you guys, yo. Yeah, it's good to see you too, man. Yeah, for sure. How's everything? You know what? I mean, it's, it's interesting because the one thing that sticks out for me from you is your smile, bro. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, All right. And it's, it's, yeah, it's just a great thing to see somebody just, just enjoying what they're doing, man, enjoying life, man. And I always feel like life rewards you when you just have that inner joy, bro. And that's one thing I always see with you. Oh, uh, thanks, bro. I mean, I, you know, I do my best to definitely find that in everything I do, you know. Yeah. If, you know, I think it, it helps, uh, it helps cut through all the all the other things that come with you chasing your dreams, like the the stuff that's probably hard to deal with, like the business or people's attitudes or all types of things that come with with that, you know. So if you're right. doing it because you love it, you know, then right, that kind of it's kind of step yeah, one. I, it's, it's it's definitely it definitely shows, man, from the other side. I think that's why things are going the way they're going, bro. So it's always dope. Appreciate Especially, that, you know, being, being from the same place, man. That's always that's always a good thing to see, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's a blessing, bro. It's a blessing. Dope, man. You still, you still. It's interesting because I know I know your brother from back in the day, and and we I know I know him more. Of course, we're in the same age age range, and um, I didn't really get to know who you were, but as time went on, especially in the career, I see I got to know you a little bit. But I wanted to do something. Cause I had sure. this whole, I had this whole, I had this whole uh, configuration of, of what we wanted to do, yeah. and I think we can still do it with um with the time that we have, and I just want you to um, I want to show I want to show a photo. I yeah, show bro, a photo, of course. And I and I want and I would love. I think we would love, and especially because uh, a lot of a lot of people hit me up with questions on your side, like fans that just want to know so much about you. So I was like, how do I formulate the best way to let people know? Anthony at a level that they might they may not know him you know what I mean yeah. so what yeah. I did was I got together some photos and I would love if you could just speak about who the people are in the photos who is this person or wow, if that's a fire. photo of you where were yeah, you yeah. in your life when 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 uh when the photo comes up you okay all right yeah, yeah yeah wow yeah 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 all right cool let me uh let me let me get to let me get to this real quick so being from uh, wow. Being from <laughs> Bushwick, like That's I didn't, crazy. I didn't meet this guy. Like I knew your <laughs> brother, and um, I know, but I know that face because that's a face that we see where we're from, where we're from. You know? How, yeah. How old were you in this picture? Wow. How old? How do you see that photo? That's uh, that is ten. That's years ten old. years old. Yeah. My sister's here too. My sister. Your sister, here. what's up? Yeah, he's like. What's going on, Stephanie? How you doing? Yo, wait, that's ten years old, man. I guess right, ten years ten, old. Ten, ten. Years. ten, dope, man. Um, did you know you wanted to be an actor when you were ten? Nah, I don't know if I knew I wanted to be an actor. I mean, my sister's not in her head. Yes, like I'm lying, but I don't know if I mean I I loved it. I enjoyed entertaining uh, people. Uh, I I remember uh, at the uh, during the holidays, my my cousins and I we would. You know, from like maybe nine years old all the way up until I was about 11 or 12, we used to do like these skits every holiday on Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh. And um, and they we would kind of just like, we would make costumes, like make our own costumes uh, in one of our aunt's rooms or something. Uh, um, and, and we'd like, and we'd formulate like the, the, the plot. We'd be like, all right, this story is about a dude named Mr. Limpy and he's whatever the, you know, whatever, you know, we'll come up with some crazy ass story. And there'd be like no dialogue really, and we just get out there improv, and um, and that I was always looking forward to those those uh, performances when we were kids, because those were a lot of fun. But I don't know if I ever I don't know if I knew I wanted to be a, 
I don't know if I knew I wanted, I don't know if I always wanted to, but I, I know I enjoyed it a lot, you know, but, um, but I love playing, playing baseball. I was always so focused on that. And I always thought that that was like where my focus should be um, until I, until it wasn't, you know? Got you. Got you. So it's interesting how, like for what, what I gather from that, what I get from that is how innately you just went to it as a kid. When it comes to like the art, when it comes to theater, when it comes to acting, yeah, you just went that route without even putting any thought into it, and you said it was something you look you look forward to uh, look forward to doing, which is dope, man. That's that's so dope. I mean, again, I think it resonates as to why you, you you're doing what you're doing now. Which yeah, goes back yeah. to that smile I was talking about, because I'm pretty sure when you were a kid doing these plays, you had that same smile. I was having a good time for sure. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely I, I was definitely having a good time, and I also felt free. I think like. I think like, when you grow up in an environment that's not particularly, um, you know, like you, you hear about those schools now that uh, like students are calling the, I mean, they, they were around even when I was a kid, but like, this, but like more frequently now the kids that they're calling the teacher by like their first name and like, right. you know, kids are like not sitting at desks and they're sitting like in circles. Like, you know, it's like kind of a more free form uh, way of, of, of learning and like, and like it's, much more expressive and kids are kind of talking about their feelings more as a, like, I feel like when I was a kid, that wasn't the only way to really express your feelings was either through sports or, or through like singing or whatever, whatever else you did. Right. But like, you know, for, for most kids, I think in my neighborhood, a lot of it was sports. Right. And, and, and that was just the way it went, especially for males. It was like, you know, Hispanic male right. really playing baseball. Everybody was playing baseball. And like, yo, what baseball team you play for? I play for the Bonnies. I play for youth service. These are all like the, the best local teams, right, in Brooklyn. They were traveling team. They were going all over the states, playing in, you know, Florida, whatever, whatever tournaments and shit. So that was how right. he was like, oh, all right, bet. You play for, you know, uh, oh, you play for the Bonnies. That's what's so. You play for youth service. You play for Latin Souls. You know, all these teams, right? But um, I think, I think, Deep down inside, the way I really expressed myself the most was always through uh, some being creative in some way, you know. But baseball was being creative as well, you know, being creative on the pitcher's mound when I was, you know, thinking about what pitch I'm going to throw next. Look, and he pulled it up. You know, when I was a kid, I was mad competitive. My brother was making fun of me uh, early, uh, not too long ago. He was like, yo, son, you was always cursing people out, telling people they suck. Why you <laughs> playing baseball? Yeah, bro, I was always, you know, <laughs> talking shit, you know. That's that. That's that Brooklyn shit, though. What, did you play on Minahan Park? Nah, I didn't play for that league, man. I didn't. Okay. I didn't play. I didn't play in that league. But um, uh, I played. Uh, I played in Greenpoint. That was in Greenpoint Little League right here for the gotcha. Greenpoint Mets. And then um, and then I played uh for the Bonnies later on, uh, in parade grounds and uh, over by like Kate and Kate and Park and uh, by Flatbush around there. You know. Got you. Got you. Um, you you say Bonnie's man, and I'm I'm from, I'm from you know everybody knows Bonnie's from the hood, man. Bonnie's that was the yeah. I mean, if you're from the hood and you you know you grew up around baseball, you know everybody knows who the Bonnie's the Bonnie's right. youth service was like the Mets and the Yankees, uh, right? Like the best you know arch rivals, right? You know, the two two best teams in Brooklyn, and they were always playing against each other. And uh, you know, if you was playing for one of those two teams, you felt a little cooler than everybody else. Got you. Yeah, no. So baseball was what you were. That that was like your trajectory. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, that's what I. Th I yeah, I think that's that's what I thought I was gonna do. You know, I, I for sure thought I was like, yo, that's this is where we're going. This is what's happening. You know, even in in, in high school, I was uh, working out at you know at schools. Uh, I wasn't gonna play D one or anything, but I was gonna play you know D three where I can get a scholarship and. And you know, get enough money to to afford to go to school. You know, because just going to school was just expensive. So baseball was right. just a way for me to get some Got money you. to go to school. And um, I was like, yo, I had this whole plan in my head, and now all oh, the whole plan went to went to shit, uh, <laughs> and like pretty quickly. Um, I got was injured. When you were in high but, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was in high school, yeah. I mean, um, it was just you know, I had to get financial aid forms in in time, and there was bunch of you know anybody who knows you know you got to fill out FAFSA I think FAFSA is nationwide right. you know anybody who's applying to college got to fill out financial aid uh financial aid forms and um unfortunately we didn't we didn't get them we didn't get them in in time okay so mm -hmm. uh, uh my boy Ralphie one of my boys that played on the Bonnies is here too he's like yo talk oh, about word. Coach Max that's, that's hilarious so <laughs> Coach that is Max. so dope my boy Ralphie he's here yeah man so, yeah we up, played Ralphie? in high school together too okay but um 
but yeah, man. Uh, so yeah, FAFSA, I, I didn't get those forms in in time. And you know, I had to apply to like, probably like anywhere between six to eight schools and every application came back like, yo, we're sorry, we have to withdraw your application because we didn't get this form in in time. So I had no school to go to uh, um, by, uh, by, the, by the summer. So I was like, damn, it's either I go to like, I find a community college that would take me late or um, I was also considering the Navy. I was thinking about going to the Navy. I was like, you know, I had, I had spoken to a recruiter. I was like, you know, maybe maybe I can play with this idea of going. Um, but I don't think the Navy's the idea you, you right, but got you. It was really a way out for me. I was just trying to get out. I was tired of living um, in poverty. I was tired of, you know, kind of feeling like I was in a box, you know. Um, right. And I was just kind of like.